me guess, maybe you have partied in Mykonos, you have seen the amazing sunsets in Santorini, you have danced around in Crete. This is Greece pretty much done, right? No, no, no! Because, guys, you're forgetting about mainland Greece that has so much to offer. And there isn't really a better place to start exploring it than the peninsula of Hauki Diki! Hello, hello, curious gang! It's your London friend, Vasi. Well, in this video, I'm actually going to be your Hauki Diki friend, Vasi because I consider myself to be almost a local within the area because I, every summer I spend like two to three months in there because my parents have a house and of course I love going in there. If you're coming to Haukidiki by plane, the closest airport for you it will be Thessaloniki, which is also the second biggest city in Greece right after Athens. The most popular spot in Haukidiki it is actually the first leg called Cassandra, then we have the second one, Sitonia, which has the most pristine and beautiful beaches and I think it's quite an interesting mix in between luxurious hotels but also not so discovered beaches where you can actually stay on a camping. And the third one, it is Mount Athos, which uh, it is only for men and Yes, I know, I know, I know, ladies, I also get a little bit offended, but let me tell you, this place, it is a little bit like the Vatican, it is proclaimed religious republic, and that's why only monks are allowed to settle, and men can visit, but ladies were not really welcome in there so this is why in this video we will focus first two legs of this beautiful peninsula the most popular beach within this leg it is called sunny beach and it is extremely beautiful very well organized in here you can find a lot of nightlife as well and the water is crystal clear i love this beach the only problem is is that it's quite expensive, especially compared to the other places in Haukidiki, but I would say it is still worth visiting at least once. Agios Mamas. Well, this is one of my favorite beaches in Cassandra because the coastline, it is actually huge. On one side, you have the more organized part where you can take a sunbed, coffee, and if you pay like just four to five euros, you can literally stay there the whole day. And then the other side, the beach, it is not really as good, but you know, it is free. So you can just take your towel and stay there as much as you want. Talking about prices, you should usually expect to pay around four to five euros per drink, but this also includes the sunbed and the umbrella, which I think it is really great. Only at the most famous beaches, they actually charge you extra for the umbrella. And that's actually one of my favorite things about Haukidiki, it is really budget friendly. If you Google Pusidi Beach, you will find photos looking like this. Then I went on a very random day and this was the reality. But the thing is, if you don't set your expectations very high, I think you would still really enjoy this beach because it is quite particular. We have Kalitea Beach, which is the best spot in Cassandra for nightlife with many nightclubs, beach clubs as well. The sand is super white, the water is clear, and the only problem in here is that the coastline it is very small and since it has so much to offer it is usually pretty crowded. Hanoi Tea and Pefrogi. I put these two beaches together because actually the, the coastline is so long that at some point they almost become one single beach. Quite like these places because you have more secluded areas but also really cool beach clubs. Pefkordi, you can also do some diving and cool water sports. Honestly guys, how pretty are these beaches? I'm sure you're ready to pack your suitcase and go to Haukideke. Talking about suitcases, Levelweight kindly gifted me with this carry-on with laptop pocket luggage. Oh, look at this fancy locker. 
Okay, and I actually really like this suitcase because it is lightweight. You can see that it's made from high quality materials. It has five years warranty. So even if you're clumsy like me, you know, you're always protected. And of course it has a locker, which I think it's quite important. And the main reason why I got exactly this suitcase, it is because of this thing right here. You can barely see it when you have your suitcase closed, but it changes everything. This is a special place for your laptop, which is so comfortable if you're working or you're just like bringing your computer and you're at the security check and you know when they tell you, oh yeah, you have to take all your electronics out. And then you're like, oh shit, my computer is actually inside. So you have to take everything out and all your clothes and it just becomes a big mess. In this case, you have it right here. I mean, a suitcase is a suitcase because you have to put your luggage in there. So let's do the ultimate test and see if I can fit all those things inside this baby. And this one is a carry-on, so you can actually take it with you inside the plane, but really, look how many things I'm bringing. These are literally all my clothes for over a month. Next off, we move to Sitonia. We have this beach. Yeah, just give it a second and try to pronounce it. I think it should be Vurvuro, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, this place, despite how difficult it is to pronounce its name, it is like one of the most famous tourist resorts here in Sitonia. And I would say for a pretty good reason. The beaches are gorgeous, it has picturesque environment, especially with these pine trees. I'm quite in love with the pine trees here in Sitonia. Next off, we have a place which is really close to my heart. It is actually my favorite beach in all Haukideke. It is called Karudi Beach and I love it because it has those beautiful pine trees and in this case you can actually lay under one of them and uh, use it as an, as an umbrella. And also the water is turquoise blue. You also have some rocks that you can climb or like you can also lay on them if you wish. And uh, it is just extremely picturesque, but keep in mind that it's quite small. So at the same time, I quite hope that this video doesn't get too popular because I'm not ready to go to this beach and not find a place in there. Metamorphosi, which is uh, a perfect spot for families. It also, again, has like some parts that are quite well organized. Others are like just completely free and uh, bonus points again for the pine trees in there but just keep in mind that this is a quite popular beach so it can get slightly crowded if you're looking for a little bit smaller beach next to it you can also go to mango beach listen to that there is this beach called Sarti, which is literally on the bottom of the Sitonia leg. And it is one of the most furthest away spots far away from the airport. You wouldn't expect many people to go in there, right? Truth is that for real beach lovers, nothing can stop us. So this is why this beach is actually, despite its location, it is quite popular. For the ones of you that actually look for a small island, here in Haukideki you can also find Amuliani Island which is close to the third leg and also the Aporos Island which is close to Vorvoro. And guys, I'm so excited because very soon I will be going to the Aporos Island and of course I will take you with me. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss this trip. 